Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, joined once again by my faithful manservant slash Bucktotem Bertram. Say hello, Bertram. Hello, Bertram. And this is a little video on games you've probably not played. Starting with Michigan, report from hell. So dear viewer, don't you dare forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video. Michigan, report from hell, was released in 2005. A year I remember fondly as the year I tried out for the Russian state ballet and was told that while I had talent, I was much too tall to fit into the tutu. Um, is that true? No, they actually said my penis stuck out too much in the tights. Anyway, what the hell is Michigan Report from Hell? I'm so glad you asked, Bertram. Um, I didn't say anything. It's okay, Bertram. I'll forgive you if you don't know what the hell this game is. It was never released in North America, and even I didn't know it existed until years after its release. Um, that's good to know, but I never asked what the game is. I didn't say anything. It's okay, Bertram. You're not alone in not knowing what this game is. So, let's answer that very question. What the hell is Michigan Report from Hell? Well, this is a horror game developed by Grasshopper Manufacture, a company who have made some of my favorite games of all time, including Lollipop Chainsaw, Killer is Dead, Shadows of the Damned, and the No More Heroes series. Um, and is Michigan Report from whatever as good as those games? Fuck no! <coughs> I mean, no, it is not. But is it worth playing? Well, let's discuss, starting with story. We play as a cameraman, and we are tasked with following around several reporters. How many depends on who lives and who dies. As we investigate a strange mist and an outbreak of monster things in, you guessed it, Michigan. Uh, that sounds different. And it is. We spend 99% of the game looking through the lens of a camera. So, gameplay. We play as a cameraman, and we are tasked with following around several... Um, you just said that in the story section. Yes, but that's because it's the same for the gameplay. We do play as a cameraman. And we do spend the majority of the game following around reporters. I mean, we can examine blood stains and zoom in the camera on objects or even on the reporter's breasts or backsides. I'm not kidding. But we essentially follow people around for the four or so hours it will take you to finish this game. In fact, if reporters die during the course of a chapter, the game will skip ahead to the next chapter. So if you're unlucky, this game could actually be a lot shorter for you than four hours. Um, how can reporters die? Well, monsters can attack and kill them, if you don't command the reporter to shoot them. Or something. Oh, I see. Sadly, we don't get to wield a weapon ourselves. 
you know, as we are filming the whole time, uh, we can wander off and examine clues like I said, um, but that'll probably just end up with your reporter getting killed, so your best bet is to just follow the reporter around, wait on them, command them to open doors, and shoot the monsters. It's not the most exciting gameplay loop in the world, but the central mystery of the game is, uh, well, it's, it's not very interesting either. But at least you can eye up pretty reporters, so that's something. Um, so what else can you tell us about the game? Uh, well, oh, there's a karma system of some kind. Basically, if you eye up the reporters too much instead of focusing on the clues and the mystery at hand, you'll earn what's called erotic points. I'm not joking. And these points do... something? Uh, like? Oh, I, I think you get a bad ending or some such bollocks. Though, to be honest, I got a bad ending anyway, without doing that. Did you get all of your reporters killed? Ah, uh, yes. Not deliberately, mind you. Well, maybe just one of them. But she was an annoying bitch, so it was justified. So, in conclusion, sometimes a video game can be considered a cult classic for good reason. This game, uh, not so much. It's interesting, but uh, nothing more than that. And whatever you do, do not try and track down a physical copy of this game. It's more expensive than a bloody boob job. Granted, a very inexpensive, unprofessional boob job, carried out by a man or woman who probably bought their degree in a dark alley, what I'm saying, dear viewer, is this game is not worth the money. So if you do want to play it, just emulate the damn thing. I wish I'd done that. Therefore, I'm going to declare that Michigan Report from Hell is probably not really worth playing. So... There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A video on a video game that you've probably not played. If you enjoyed this little video of ours, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed it, well then, feel free to give me a thumbs down. Don't you dare forget to subscribe to this channel, to like this video, and turn on the bloody notifications. But... Remember the single most important thing I always tell you, dear viewer, and that is, oh, pardon me, and that is to always stay obsessed with gaming. Say goodbye, Bertram. Goodbye, Bertram. Goodbye, Bertram.